Eiffel has been back again. This is where I'm at. On top of a mountain. This video is going to be the 3000 kilometer review. All that's good about the bike and all that I do not like, <laughs> if there is any. Crazy ass motorcycle, 3000 kilometers of riding around and I have five points to share with you. Um, my feedback will definitely help a lot of you fellas who are just getting into the world of motorcycling, who want to upgrade to this bike, who want to know if this is a replacement to the Himalayan 411 and who want this for their first motorcycle um, or another motorcycle in their garage like me. I have two now. For the first time, I have two motorcycles side by side. I'm usually a one motorcycle fellow, one at a time. But for the first time, I have two by my, uh, by <laughs> with me in the garage. So, um, yeah, quick take on five points that I like and five points or two or three points that I dislike. Um, the first thing is this is rock solid stable machine. Rock solid stable. Love it for what it is. I do not want to elaborate on stability. You will only know it when you ride it. You need to ride it, especially on twisties to understand how stable this is, how forgiving and how tractable this is on, on uh, twisties and on all kinds of roads that are demanding. Extremely stable, very, very well planned uh, suspension and uh, ergos for uh, stability. Uh, can you throw this around like you throw the 411 around? No, you can't. This is not a bike that you can throw around just like that. Uh, though it will take on jumps, it will take on off-road terrain all day long. This isn't a motorcycle that can be disrespected, like, you know, played with. Uh, not disrespected, that's a wrong word, but a motorcycle that you can play with. So, uh, not a motorcycle that I would recommend if you really want to uh, do a lot of trail riding. Trail riding business, the X-Pulse, the 411, any day. But uh, super solid, stable on highways, on uh, off-road terrain on patches that are uh, difficult. Um, this, this, the second point that I uh, love about the motorcycle is its, um, you know, mid-range. The mid-range is unbelievably, unbelievably strong. And yet, and yet, the most beautiful thing about this machine, uh, if you were to compare this to the KTM 390 Adventure, the most beautiful thing about this machine is the mid-range is... Um, linear it isn't you know um, as as mad as it can get like the 390 they haven't tuned it to to just you know unleash its power at one rpm and then go basic this isn't like that this is linear this is this uh, encourages the riders to be careful with the throttle and yet also push so that you know you don't end up in any uh, tricky situation that's the most beautiful part about this this machine so is it a big enough friendly motorcycle in comparison to all the other motorcycles that are uh, frantic in nature, this is so much more uh, uh, approachable. You can approach this and, and learn learn how to manage a 450, 60, 450 cc, 40 bhp motorcycle. So I love that mid-range. That mid-range is something that I can be in all day long and count on the machine to get me out of any kind of tricky situation. Uh, so the thing with the mid-range, powerful motorcycles, is you, you get into situations unwillingly. You try and be a little playful and you get into situations which you know you regret later but on this machine you're not going to have any regrets because it will definitely get you out of uh, the tricky situations that that uh, is a guarantee that's a promise uh, about uh, uh, this motorcycle that i can uh, give uh, it will definitely have you know back you up with uh, enough enough uh, uh, in it the third point that i like the most about this machine is its suspension Suspension, yes, if you know how to. No, I mean, I'm just starting to learn and I'm, I've am i made Ben in, in a... <laughs> uh, ben, I don't know if you guys will uh, um, understand, but Ben is a crazy machine. It's very, very well sprung and I can do all kinds of jazz on that machine now. Likewise, this is this is unbelievable uh, suspension. This, this, has, this has enough sensitivity for something like this 
and for something like that it can take on a four feet uh, you know hit and yet uh, be sensitive to all this gravel that's how well uh, this thing is set up from factory and you couldn't be more grateful for a for for springs for shocks like that <laughs> uh, i i like the uh, you know the the front forks the uh, separate function forks and how they have uh, nailed it uh, down to 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 wonderful fantastic rebound the the front is just a dream the rear uh, is the number one reason why this machine feels planted. This machine and its stability comes predominantly from the rear, less from the front, or so I feel. Uh, the experts might have uh, a much better understanding of what it is, but I strongly believe it's the rear that makes the motorcycle feel that planted. The linked type suspension um, is, is just crazy. They've worked it out so, so well. Uh, so kudos to the to the shock developers for having come up with a shock like that. I'm I'll see once my YSS gives, um, uh, you know, is is towards the fag end of its life. I will throw this onto the 411 and see if this helps. The mounting points are similar on both the shocks. So uh, yeah, we'll see about that. Now uh, coming to the fourth point, what I love about this machine the most is one up. Uh, sorry, uh, single or with pillion, the machine has very little difference in its performance. And that is a big, big hats off to the engineers who have kind of, um, you know, who've kind of nailed the ergonomics, the suspension and the traction um, to accommodate for, I mean, a pillion, 60 kilo of uh, luggage or a pillion and another 20, 30 kilos of luggage. This machine is rock solid. Uh, you know, it's it's stable. It's planted. It doesn't uh, give you any surprises. Uh, yeah, the power, the difference would be about 20 percentage, but you know, you will get used to it in no time. But uh, with a pillion, there's nothing else in the market that is this stable. Nothing else. Absolutely nothing. Stable and the ergonomics for both the rider and the pillion. You can be on this motorcycle and you can you can you can do a 2,000 kilometer trip, eyes closed without any worries. That's how planted this thing is. You can just eyes closed take this ma machine anywhere where you go alone, solo, with a pillion. So that's the most beautiful thing that I love about this motorcycle. Um, in fact, it comes in handy because I uh, tour a lot with my wife now. And this has become my touring machine. So uh, touring, touring, touring and uh, uh, just continuously amazed uh, at how well planted this is. The fifth point that I love about this bike is um, this would be a little bit of a controversy. I love how solid everything is, how reliable everything is. Um, nothing, nothing from the day I got the machine has uh, kind of uh, uh, given up uh, or uh, has hinted at trouble. Nothing, nothing on the machine. I might be lucky for you guys. Uh, you might, you might, you guys might quickly conclude that I'm one of those lucky fellows who has gotten a good machine. But I strongly disagree uh, with that. Um, you know perspective what i want to say is i got this bike and i dismantled the tail section i moved the wires here and there and people had all kinds of things to say i started uh, meddling with the motorcycle i did this i did that i'm not supposed to do this and supposed to do that i'm continuously going to mod this motorcycle to suit my preferences and uh, and show to you guys that uh, no matter what you do um, if you know how to have uh, a clear perspective towards what your expectations are and uh, how to go about meeting them without really cribbing and complaining, then those um, questions that you have will be answered in a positive way. The machine will respond to you. The machine will. Uh, I'm talking about a non-living thing. Yes, I get it. But that being said, the machine will also work along with you to to for that to that cause. Um, you know, so do not take it lightly. Own your machine with with um, a, a sense of happiness, a sense of ownership. Be grateful that the, you know you have you have this machine that takes you anywhere and everywhere. As far as all that can go wrong with this machine, it can go wrong with just about any other machine on the planet as well. Um, reliability wise, very, very happy with this machine. No problems, no trouble, nothing whatsoever. Um, chains rusting, tubeless tires, uh, sorry, uh, tube tires, uh, steering stem issues, um, there's that, that, this, everything is the problem with the assembly line, not the problem with the machine as such, with the, the parts. 
uh, yes there's a little bit of cheap parts here and there but that's how it is with anything that is mass produced so the assembly part of it might have caused trouble to a lot of you fellas but it hasn't for me and i the first thing that i did was i dismantled everything i put things back together i retalked all the bolts so that i don't develop any issues and uh, <laughs> i made a reel on uh, torquing all these bolts all these fellas these engine bolts uh, to uh, 11 uh, newton meters and i had a lot of criticism for that uh, only uh, now people are starting to agree that they too have found uh, these bolts to be overly loose and uh, they did what was right so that's the first thing that i did i i tried um, uh, retorquing every single bolt on this machine to the right spec i mean don't ask me where i got the specs from uh, there's a general understanding of specs and i use those values to get to um, the right torque and i also checked the wheel balance i checked the wheel alignment what else did i do i i ran through all the wiring just to know what is where and if you guys do all this, then you know your machine so much better. The uh, you know unforeseen occurrences can be avoided if you have a good grip of this motorcycle. Yeah, so those are the five points. Uh, super reliable machine. Very, very reliable. Any cheap bits, I will slowly, steadily replace with the expensive ones. But as far as reliability goes, a 10 on 10, I have absolutely no problems. Uh, the paintwork, some parts here and there is cheap. Of course, I, I will do my usual touch-up with my paint. Um, yeah, two points that I don't like about this machine. The only two. Uh, one is a vague throttle response uh, in the lower RPMs. This is not something that is um, that I would recommend a ride-by-wire. I'm not a ride-by-wire guy, and a ride-by-wire comes with its own share of niggles. So, a little bit of a vague throttle down low between uh, a zero and fifteen hundred or uh, two thousand RPMs. You can't really go about guessing. Uh, it has a mind of its own. Change of elevation and uh, everything changes. It understands things differently. Um, uh, the starts in the morning become a little bit of a hassle and uh, so on and so forth. So that vagueness is one thing that I'm not uh, really fond of. Uh, um, that's the, burn, uh, the, the second thing that stands out as far as uh, problem goes in this machine is uh, this is not as torquey as the 411 now this might come off as a surprise to you this is revy not torquey um uh, the torque part of it uh, is is something that you guys really need to understand uh, a motorcycle can be made to feel torquey but is it truly uh, torquey enough to kind of you know to kind of feel that you are calm and to to have that calm and composed approach for things like this for things like this this should not become intimidating like that's a 10 feet drop um, this should not become intimidating so that kind of uh, torque not torque that can just pull you out of anything and everything that's not the torque. i'm not going to go all throttle whack open on climbing a mountain that's not the torque that i'm talking about i'm talking about a torque that can that can help you putter around with absolute ease and confidence that's the torque that uh, that sets range rovers land rovers all the machines from the past apart uh, you know all the jeeps all of them have that beautiful torque factor that can that can and the 411 excels there when you have the 411 and you have this and you do all of this you are truly surprised at the torque of the 411 the 411 is a chugger the 411 keeps you calm keeps you cool keeps you relaxed through all that uh, nonsense that the terrain throws at you uh, this um, you have to be a little more careful and a, a little more mindful you can't take it lightly yeah so a sprinter and uh, a tractor that's the difference um, well if this video helped 3000 kilometers super happy with the ownership this is my um, touring motorcycle and what i have back home is going to be strictly off-road so if you guys are happy uh, with your 411s um, let it be do not think of uh, do not think of replacing the 411s with the 450 and these are totally different motorcycles you don't really uh, need to upgrade to a 450 unless there is a need. If you are more of a highway person, if you really want to tour around a lot, you want to uh, uh, see the world on two wheels with your partner or your friend as pillion and truckloads of luggage and still ex have a planted motorcycle, then this is the bike for it. This is definitely the right bike in the market. Now at this price point, uh, this the mid-segment price point, this is the bike for it. 
go for it eyes closed eyes closed the best motorcycle the triumph the ktms nothing comes close to how this is uh, how stable this is this is the best motorcycle for travel and adventure and off road and just about anything and everything um yeah so if this video helped it helped ben signing out for now ciao